My name is Joyce Fraser and I'm the chair of the Black Heroes Foundation. The Black Heroes Foundation, we bring joy using the arts to celebrate black heroes. I'm from Jamaica. Well, my heritage is Jamaican. My parents are from Jamaica and um, they actually met here in London. So where am I from? Well, I'm what they call British black. So I'm of Jamaican heritage and I grew up in Forest Hill. I have very close ties to Wandsworth because my late husband lived in Wandsworth. My late husband was Flip Fraser and it's because of him that I'm doing the work I'm doing now. He created a show called Black Heroes in the Hall of Fame 30 years ago and its tagline was 5,000 years of black history in one night of theatre. And that started off in the Hackney Empire and also went all over America and to Jamaica. But the last time it performed was in 2007. Um, and he'd wanted me to help him with doing the show. But I was from the corporate world. I didn't know anything about theatre and raising funds and it was all too big for me and so I didn't. But unfortunately he passed away in 2014 and at his funeral people said that because of that show their doctors their lawyers their nurses all kinds of things he gave them their first chance to go into acting and on the stage I just had so many people approaching me saying that I needed to preserve his legacy and so in 2016 he passed away in 2014 in 2016 I decided to register the Black Heroes Foundation in order to preserve his legacy. And so a whole new world has started for me, doing all sorts of things I never ever thought I would do. And I have to say that Wandsworth have been such a big part in this because um, for our very first event that we ever did, our very first project, Wandsworth gave us the funding. And the people of Wandsworth are fantastic because we were having, we'd gone for a meal at the Lalani restaurant on Lavender Hill and the restaurant owner heard us talking about our woes, how we were going to make this happen. And he said to us, I love what you guys are doing. I really love what you guys are doing. I tell you what, I'll let you use the Lalani restaurant for one night a month. And so for a year, we use the Lalani restaurant on a Thursday evening. And it's a funding from Wandsworth that allowed us to do that. And the most amazing thing is that we actually won an award for that, that project. It was called the Black Heroes Soul Food Cafe. We're also involved with um, the WAF, the Wandsworth Arts Fringe Festival. So we've done those for a couple of years. And this year we did the um, story of Claudia Jones. Now, Imagine me, I wrote that play <laughs> at Christmas. I've never written anything in my life. And, um, and we got funding from Wandsworth to actually do that play. You're probably wondering, who is Claudia Jones? Well, Claudia Jones, they refer to her as the mother of the Notting Hill Carnival. Uh, but she was much more than that. In actual fact, she had nothing to do with the Notting Hill Carnival. But she had the first West Indian Carnival, uh, the precursor to it, in London and uh, St Pancras Town Hall. But it's so important for our young people to know their history. Um, Flip said that being culturally aware helps to motivate you. Marcus Garvey said something to the effect that a man with no history is like a tree with no roots. So it's really important for us to know our history. And it's also important for us to tell our history rather than be listening to his story, for us to have our story. And so that's what we do, using all sorts of mediums to tell those stories. You know, I, I say the word black culture, I think about it, and I just feel warm, comfortable, energised, proud. What do I think about it on an intellectual level? I think that um, we need to actually study it more and know more. And that's part of the journey that I'm on. I remember 
um, when I was doing A-level English at school and we had to listen to Mr. Blake talk about the little African black man. And um, very, very demotivating. And so I, 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 brought a, I brought a poetry book into the class the next time and insisted that the teacher read it out. And it was a poem by Ian Braithwaite talking about the Rasta man. I wish I could remember the words, but just the way, the words, it's just so empowering. It's beautiful, yeah. So on so many levels, I love black culture. Every single month is Black History Month. Every single day is Black History Day. The one thing I say about Black History Month is that at least it does get the whole country to focus on black history for one month of the year. And that's a start. Um, and the next step is for them to do it for the whole year. Being aware of your culture will help to motivate you and give you positive feelings and thoughts. Marcus Garvey said that a man with no history is like a tree with no roots. So it's really important for you to explore your own culture and know your history. I am Joyce Fraser and I'm proud to be the chair of the Black Heroes Foundation, my Black History Month.